What's up, guys? We're on the front porch. Do you see the goodies right there? We got a new toy. It's right here. The Traeger Roasting Chicken Throne. We're gonna use it today on the Traeger grill. We got something else too. I'll be right back. Forgot about these. The Traeger Meat Church Pellet Blend. I already used them. They're awesome. What a smell coming off the grill when you use these things. I made some ribs last weekend. I didn't film it, but they came out amazing. This Meat Church Pellet Blend, big thumbs up. Right here on Mooch Life. Let's get this five pound bird seasoned up and we're gonna use our throne to get some delicious meaty poultry on the Traeger Ironwood 885. So let's get to it. Ah, don't fall. First things first, let's open up our roasting chicken throne, see what it's like, a little unboxing action here. One-handed action. Ugh, we better do this. Got the Traeger logo right there, looking awesome. That's cool. It's got four ports. Help the steam come out inside the bird. It's made out of porcelain, it's grill safe, it's dishwasher safe. It's better than putting the can straight into the bird, especially if the can is painted. This is a little bit safer per se. And people like to just put the can in there. I wanna accessorize because it's cool for YouTube. Let's clear this off and get our entire layout on the table. Look at this beautiful setup here. We got our seasoning for today. It's gonna be the Bearded Butcher Hollywood Blend, which is a salty and sweet. It's got a little bit of sugar in there. Barbecue rub. Of course, our throne. We're gonna fill up with our beer. What beer are we using? Yangling Traditional Lager. Slightly amber color lager. It's delicious. One of my favorite beers. It happens to be the uh, oldest brewery in America, uh, based out of Pennsylvania. So we're gonna use a little bit of that. We're gonna drink a little bit of it too. And we got a little bit of oil and a ramekin that is empty. We're gonna mix our Hollywood blend with some baking powder to help make the skin on this five pound, all natural hormone free bird, a little bit of a crispier skin adventure. So. Let's get this thing seasoned up and thrown on the grill. I'm just gonna eyeball the amount of seasoning I think I need for the chicken. So I'm just gonna put a bunch in there, like so. And then we're gonna take our baking powder. I'm sure on the internet you can find exact recipe, how much of this should you use. I'm just gonna go ahead and measure with my heart. Give that a little mixeroo. Just rub it in. This oil will act as a binder for our rub and probably help it have a crispier skin. While I'm doing this, guys, why don't you comment in the comment section below what your favorite part of your chicken is. Is it the wing? Is it the thigh? The leg? The breast? Or is it the neck? Or how about the giblets on the inside? This chicken is a precursor to a nice giant Thanksgiving turkey. If this chicken turns out amazing on the Traeger Ironwood 885, it's gonna give me the confidence I need to go ahead and tackle a big turkey and feed it to house guests. So family functions, I like to practice. I don't wanna serve bad food and mess it all up, but I'm sure this will come out amazing. Let's take our baking powder and Hollywood blend and sprinkle that on the bird. I'm gonna rub it in to the skin. Nice and generous. You can pat it in there. This one-handed action's tough around the wings and stuff. But we'll try our best. Filming and doing this by yourself is tricky, but we'll get there. You get the idea. So let me get this all seasoned up and then We'll show you the next step here. Check it out, guys. We're seasoned both sides. I might sprinkle a little bit more on a couple of those bare spots. 
Now the next step I want to do here is turn it up, dump some of this Hollywood blend straight from the bottle, not mixed with the baking soda, inside as well. So a little heap there, and then just like flip it around, do a couple boom booms, get it to spread on the inside, and there you go. Check out that beautiful bird, coated and seasoned. Oh, there's a bare spot, get that. Like I said, <laughs> coated and seasoned up. Now it's time to start the grill, get this thing going so we can have our first beer can chicken. The stars of today's YouTube video is the Meat Church Pellet Blend. Sure. Awesome stuff, I used it already. I said that earlier in the video. Yangling Lager, America's oldest brewery. Little taste test. Tastes like America. Now, we're gonna pour a bunch of it into our throne. We'll get it all the way up to about there. Just where the neck starts, right under the holes there, if you will. And that's pretty much the whole bottle of beer. So as our chicken, is uh, resting with the seasoning on it, letting it soak in. We're gonna preheat the grill for about 20 minutes. This is not a smoking application per se. This is a roasting application, 350 degrees. And we will ignite it. And I already put these Meat Church pellet blend in there. Matt Pittman, one of the uh, Traeger representatives or whatnot. He has his own YouTube channel and he is uh, based out of Dallas, Texas. So that's the logo for their company there. Limited edition. It is awesome stuff. I don't know what. Yeah, it is limited edition. It's limited. So there's the gentleman there. If you don't know who he is and uh, he does a lot of videos on the Traeger app and on his YouTube channel. So it's a unique blend of premium American hardwoods that were carefully selected by our team of acclaimed pitmasters and chef. Each element was handpicked to enhance your food's flavor and help you create meals you'll never forget. Split his childhood between pork preaching Alabama and beef worshiping Texas, and this blend reflects that. It combines the hickory used for cooking hog in the deep south with the oak preferred by Texas pitmasters. Oak and hickory combo. Pennsylvania beer, or Alabama, Texas pellets. Pencil, Pennsylvania tucky, pencil, yeah, whatever. Once this fires up, we'll get that on the grill and then we'll show you the finished product. It should take about two hours. We're going temperature 165 in the thickest part of the breast and then we'll carve it on camera for you and see how beautiful it is. And Mrs. Mooch, my wife, will be inside making some signs. And we're gonna have a beautiful dinner together. Now for the fun part. Put the chicken on the throne and then on to the grill. So we're gonna take our butt end here and then our neck end and just flip it on top. And let it sit there like it's riding a motorcycle. <laughs> Check that out. And we're gonna go ahead and get underneath it, pick this guy up. <laughs> Check out how cool that is, just sitting on there like that. So that multi logger that is Yangling beer will steam into the chicken. But maybe we're gonna let it sit this way breasts facing forward and then whenever we check the temperature we'll be able to stick it straight through there so it should take an hour hour and a half maybe two hours because it is like 40 degrees outside and we should have delicious chicken to carve up right here on mooch life wow look at all that juice coming out
160. Ten more minutes, we should be done. It's all done. It smells so good. This is like the best smelling product I've done on this grill thus far. Check out that bird. Woo. So I guess we just scoot it around or get it to the front and then put it on our tray. Look at all that steam coming out from that beer. Shut the grill down. Take this guy in the house. Oh, check it out. Oh, it smells like beer. No, that steam. Look at that thing. Tell me that's not a thing of beauty, seriously. Wow. All right, let's go carve it up. All right, so I guess what we do here is just lift it off of the porcelain. Ooh, it's hot a little bit. So I don't know how much beer is left in there. Oh, it's still there. I didn't know if it would all evaporate. Ooh, it's hot. Duh. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and carve this guy up. There's a wing. Look at that greasy, beery juice. Just falling off, basically. The other wing there. We'll go ahead and get this last thigh. Ooh. I should be wearing hot hands, guys, but I'm not. Ooh. Just like that. We got another leg. And now it's time for the main attraction. Try to get these breasts out. Just feel for the bone. Wow, look at all that juice. There'll be a breast bone. And then you have to find the side of it. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Two breasts, two drums, two thighs, and two whole wings. Beer can, chicken, right here on Mooch Life. We're gonna go dig in. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more Traeger cooking videos and other grilling videos that we're gonna be doing on the channel. It's time for dinner. We're gonna go enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Peace out.